Hi, good day students. So, welcome to another lesson for today's lesson. We are going to be looking at currency exchange and more specifically, we are going to be dealing with US dollars and Jamaican dollars. Now, here on the screen, we have a copy or an image of a US dollar and a Jamaican dollar. Now, one USD, as you see here, it stands for one US dollars. And the symbol, one JMD, as you see here, stands for Jamaican dollars. All right? Now, we know Jamaican currency and US currency. Which one values more? If we have one US dollar and one Jamaican dollar in either hands, which one would value more? If you said the US dollar, you are correct. One US dollar values more than one Jamaican dollar. So, let us look on some examples. Now, when we are to convert from the US dollar to Jamaican dollar, we multiply. And what are we multiplying? We're going to multiply the exchange rate by the US dollar. We're going to go into what I mean by exchange rate. Now, our reason for multiplying is that when you're converting a currency of a larger value to a currency of a smaller value, you multiply. From bigger to smaller, you multiply. So the Jamaican dollar has a smaller value than the US dollar. All right. So when we convert from US dollar to Jamaican dollars, we're going to multiply because we're converting from a larger currency to a smaller one. Now, let's look at an example. We can clear up what we mean by exchange rate. Here, we, in this example, we see that one US dollars, remember USD stands for US dollars, is equal to 145 Jamaican dollars. That's what we call exchange rate. It means if I have a US dollar in my hand, it will value 145 Jamaican dollars. So, the question goes on to say, what is the cost of 25 US dollars in Jamaican dollars? We know that we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply though? So the exchange rate is 145 Jamaican dollars to one US. So we multiply our exchange rate and we're going to multiply that by the US dollar. So the value of the US dollar was 25. So 145 times 25 gives us 300 and sorry 3625 Jamaican dollars. So this is saying if you have 25 US dollars in your bank account or in your pocket right now, it's saying that you have over 3000 Jamaican dollars, the equivalent. All right? So 25 US dollars is equivalent to 3,625 Jamaican dollars if the exchange rate is 145. Good? Let's try another example. All right, so you're doing some online shopping on Amazon and the Samsung Galaxy Tab costs $567 plus $27.85 for shipping. All right. 
So you want to know what the cost, what the cost of purchasing the tablet in Jamaican dollars. What's the cost of purchasing the tablet in Jamaican dollars? The exchange rate is 140 Jamaican dollars. All right. How are we going to solve this problem? First, we establish our exchange rate is 140, so we write it down. Rem then, we have to remember. Okay, we are moving from a larger currency value to a smaller currency value, so we are going to multiply. So we multiply our 140 times or $594.85. And how did we get that? We added our $567, right? Plus or $27.85 for shipping. Because remember, this is the cost for the tablet, plus the shipping cost is $27.85. So we add the two values here. And when we add the two values, that is how we got our $594.85. Good. So once we got our $594.85, that answer that we got, we multiplied it by the exchange rate. And we ended up with $3,625. So that's the cost of purchasing the Samsung Galaxy tablet online, the equivalent in Jamaican dollars. All right. And notice how the exchange rate changes because that's how money works. Sometimes the value appreciates, that means increase, and sometimes it depreciates, that means decrease. It is not fixed. The exchange rate is not fixed. So whenever you're dealing with questions, do not assume what the exchange rate is. The question will always provide it. All right? Now, let's look on another example. When we are converting from Jamaican dollars to US dollars, what are we going to do? We are going to divide. We are going to divide because we're converting a currency of a smaller value to a currency of a larger value. The Jamaican dollar is a smaller value and the US dollar is a larger value. So from smaller to larger, we divide. Now let's look on this example. Patrick will be taking a trip to Florida, yes. Patrick has splurged, my God, foreign. He has 100,000 Jamaican dollars to take with him on his trip. So he's going to be doing some spending. What is the equivalent in US dollars? He has 100,000 Jamaican dollars. He needs to change over his money. What is the equivalent? And the question gives us the exchange rate. One US dollars gives us 148 Jamaican dollars. What are we going to do again? Divide. Awesome. So we write our exchange rate. So we're going to take our 100,000 Jamaican dollars and we're going to divide it by the exchange rate. All right. When we do that, we get approximately $675.68. And, 
uh, when you divide it, you're going to get um, a, a lengthy decimal. So, of course, we round off to the nearest um, two decimal places. Now, you see how currency exchange is easy? First, we need to identify if we're moving from a larger currency value to a smaller one. From a larger currency value to a smaller one, we multiply. From a smaller currency value to a larger one, we divide. And once you know the exchange rates and the amount that's being converted, you are good to go. Alright students, thanks for watching this video and take care.